animator and voice actor Clay Martin Croker, mainly known as C. Martin Croker, just like how R. Kelly's name is Robert, and he just simply goes by R. Kelly, died September 17th at the age of 54. Mr. C. Martin Croker was born in Atlanta and died in Atlanta. He is known for voicing Zorak and Motar on the Space Ghost Coast to Coast show when he replaced Don Messick, who originally voiced the characters in the 1960s. Motar was the first Toonami host from 1997 to 1999. Then our guy Tom took over since then. Croker also served as an animator for Aqua Teen Hunger Force, as he did a couple voices of characters and also helped animate and design bumpers for Cartoon Network back in the 90s. So give that man some props for those classic commercials and bumpers. I wish Cartoon Network had those bumpers back in this generation instead of these cruddy CN Sam bumpers. I'm seeing, you're seeing, they're seeing, we're seeing. Every time when I see that bumper for that freaking song, I just, it just makes me cringe and I have to walk away out of my room until it's over. Ugh. How about just shut up? Please shut up. Will you shut up? Why won't you shut up? Just shut up. Please shut up. Will you shut up? Why won't you shut up? There, that's my parody of that freaking song. It's like our childhood just continues to slip away that fast. 2016 just continues to have people drop like flies. What is going on? Since his death, Adult Swim honored him by re-airing the first episode of Space Ghost Coast to Coast. Croker's friends and colleagues honor him with posts on social media. You know how Adult Swim have those memorials, those little black cards when someone dies? They did the same for Croker. Also, I'm sure you guys who tuned in Saturday to Toonami, before Toonami Dragon Ball Z Kai, I'm sure you remembered Tom received a transmission from Motar telling him that he's returning to his home planet and he isn't coming back. And then saying he was the better Toonami host. <laughs> Boy, just like Tom said, he knew how to push his buttons. <laughs> so Tom wishes Motar the best of luck and says, may your oven stay forever lit. And then it shows the image, this exact same image of Clay. T. Martin Croker, born January 10th, 1962 and died September 17th, 2016. I mean, just looking at that image of him just... In my mind, say, no, not Clay Martin Croker. It's sad, man. Sad he's gone at the age of 54. Now, when I first heard when he passed away, I had no clue how this man died. Because I'm wondering, how did he die? They said it was unknown. They don't know what happened. So, at that time, his death was very suspicious. It's like... How did this lovable man pass away? What happened? What was going on? And I'm just finding out today that apparently C. Martin Croker passed away due to food poisoning, due to eating bad sushi at a restaurant. And I'm like, food poisoning? Wait, how can somebody die from food poisoning? I mean, can people really die from food poisoning? All I know about... Food poisoning is that it's nothing but a lot of vomiting and diarrhea. Nobody wants to experience food poisoning. Ugh. I'm basically looking at the details of his death. They got this article where I think it was posted by a friend of his. The friend is saying that Saturday when he died, uh, he was saying that he was talkative and loving. And they went to this Roussan's restaurant where they were eating sushi. So after that, they went to the bookstore that's where he began to feel sick. His friend turned around and could not find him, and shortly after, he realized he had gone to the car. He quickly rushed him home as he began to throw up. He put him in the bed and begged him to get his friend to call an ambulance, but Clay told him, don't call. 
So why would Clay not want him to call? What, what, what's going on? Did he think that he's going to feel better eventually? So Clay and his friend, they stay with each other for the next 2.5 hours, holding his hair back and putting a wet towel on his head. He began to feel better, and they decided it must have been food poisoning. Then they talked about friends, new exciting work, and their relationship. They laughed and just kicked it with each other. The last time, Clay asked him to get him some indigestion at the store. He wanted his friend to bring his car back. His friend felt foolish because he left for less than an hour and returned quickly. The last words from Clay was, how long will you be gone? Come right back. I need you here. Clay's friend returned. He was found on the floor unconscious. He did CPR until the ambulance arrived, and apparently he was pronounced dead. And I feel bad for his friend because he says he regret leaving for those few minutes. He lastly says, I do not know how I go on. Say travels my love. We will meet again one day. Wow. I feel bad for this person saying that he regrets leaving those few minutes. I mean, Clay told him to get him some indigestion at the store. He thought that it will probably make him feel better. You had to help out your friend. That's what you did. But my thing is, what caused him to be on the floor unconscious? Because people are saying that maybe he had a heart attack when this happened. And I'm like, how the hell can you have a heart attack when it was obviously had to be food poisoning from eating bad food? What is going on? But it sounds to me that the bad sushi he ate, it must have had like some type of bacteria maybe where it wasn't used to his body where it caused him to like surround his body and make it worse to cause him to die. That's what it sounds like. That's why I said, man, people need to make sure they cook their food all the way because you'll never know. Anybody can eat something that ends up bad and they don't even know it. Things can get worse. You just never know. F. Roussan's that restaurant. You guys are the reason why Clay is gone. You should be ashamed of yourselves. And I'm sure they are with them finding out about his death. And here's a picture of the Lau sisters from the Lau house. They're crying over his death. Where's Lincoln? Shouldn't Lincoln be crying too? He probably is. He just couldn't bear being in the same room with his sisters crying. I know Lincoln heard about his death. And of course at Debian.com, they got a lot of tributes to Clay. They have pictures of his characters like Zorak and Moltar all together. Man, it sucks. Well, Cartoon Network and Adult Swim will not be the same without this man. Mm-mm-mm. He may be unfortunately gone, but his work will live on. Always space ghost coast to coast. Always Moltar, always Zorak, always the Brack Show. Shout outs to all his friends and colleagues and his family members. Shout out to his fans. Shout outs to uh, Tanami, Sarah, and uh, Tom. Hang in there, Tom and Sarah. He went out with a bang. Rest in peace, Clay Martin Croker. Guys out there, tell me your thoughts on his death. Where were you when you heard about his death and how shocked you are? I'm sure you're still shocked about his death, especially you finding out about him dying from food poisoning. 